This is happiness to be everything at once. Be unblinded, be unlearned, be unbridled and unburned. Hey everyone, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Mood Prep. My name is Dave Nixon, and um, I want to spend today's podcast talking about the difference between working hard and hard work. Now, I actually had this um, conversation with a, a client on a coaching call, and um, I think it's it's really important to, to you know be able to look at the distinction between working hard and hard work, and and a lot of people. Self-proclaimed the fact that they're they're you know happy to put the hard work in, and um, that's that's great and, and often true. But what's the biggest difference between working hard and harding and, and harding work? Good English, working hard and hard work is often that people get those two mixed up based on the fact that they go, "I'm happy to do the hard work." The work that we're referring to is the things that they actually find easy, right? The, it might be like um, for society, it might be deemed as hard work and get in there and get your hands dirty. But for them, it actually might be quite easy. That's not hard work. That's working hard. It's not hard work. The difference is, is where this person may have a, a hole in, in, in their, their skill set or their strength, which maybe for some people isn't perceived in society, isn't perceived as actually a difficult thing to do or you know maybe it's the soft skills and that to them they don't see that as working hard they might see it as fluffy or they might see it as somebody else's job or whatever but that's actually hard work and so this is the difference between and actually knowing the difference between is great but actually doing both is what's important working hard and actually doing hard work are two things that we you know it would be noble to aim to do both throughout every single day because what it means is that we're able to work hard on the skill sets that we have and develop them and actually you know sharpen those and offer those to to the world but also then continue to work hard on our hard work you know and if you think about working hard on our hard work it means that we get to develop our skill set we don't lose access to the skill set that we already have we actually broaden our skill set we broaden our ability you know, examples of this, let's look at a guy who, um, you know, wants to get a, bi- a, a bigger change in the gym. And I've had this conversation before and they're like, you know, mate, I'm happy to come in here and bust my ass and, you know, happy to work hard, you know, and do do the hard work. Um, it's just the diet stuff, man. I just couldn't be bothered dealing with it. You know, I just, I, it's just, you know, I just want someone else to sort it out. And I remember him saying this, this is actually an actual example and, um, I remember going, so it sounds like you actually are afraid of hard work. And he's like, what? He's a very proud, proud man. And I'm like, well, coming here and working hard, that's in your blood. And it's in your family's blood. You know, they were, they were very, very successful um, in in their uh, entrepreneurs, effectively. And I'm like, so that, that's that's easy. You've, you've grown up doing that, working on a farm and doing that sort of stuff. That's easy. It sounds like getting in the kitchen is hard work, and that's what you're actually afraid of getting your bloody hands in to do. Now, for some people, the hard work may be actually working on their mental game, right? But what the fuck's the point of that? You just get in there and play the game or get in there and do the work. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it only matters when it starts to go backwards, right? What about before then? You know, and this is, comes back to the conversation of when people go, you know, um, I want to get healthier and I'm going to go to the gym and when I'm healthy I'll keep going to the gym but I only go to the psych or only go get coaching when I'm when people are crazy as opposed to um, you know wanting to get a mental edge in their career life and sport and the rest of that sort of stuff it's like really seeing that across the board the skill sets that we may have that we know we do well and really look at ways that we can continue to develop them and continue to, to you know, strengthen them is, is crucial. You know, go all in on your strengths. I'm, I'm fucking 100% there. I agree, 100% agree with that. The difficulty is that, you know, your real potential lays in working on what's hard. Now, 
There's only so much time in the day, I get that. And you can't do everything, I also get that. So there comes a certain level of when you're okay being codependent with something and interdependent with something else, and that's fine. The biggest thing that I'm looking at here is that is your ability to work hard being held back by your lack of your ability to lean into your hard work? And a lot of the time, for a lot of people in a lot of areas, it is. And let, let me just explain, like, I know, work hard, hard work, work hard, hard work can kind of get a bit confusing to hear, but if you have a skill set that is your main skill set, then maybe what you deem to be hard work, you know, for example, nutrition, for example, the mental game, maybe that's what's holding you back from even working even harder, right? Because you can run as hard as you can in the wrong direction, you're still going in the wrong direction. And so being able to, you know, work smart on, on things that you find challenging and get the correct support, right? People forget that, that. I should know how to do this. It's like you fucking went to school with teachers for 13 years, right? Multiple teachers with, like, so many different disciplines. It's like there is literally millions of people out there that we can help leverage information off. Why are we expecting that we should just know it? That's ridiculous, right? Right? And so when we're able to step back, look at the skill sets and our own strengths and be honest with ourselves about our strengths, not cocky, not over the top, just honest, and look at the weakness that we may have, right? the hard work that lays ahead of us, and then make a distinction, make a decision. Is this the kind of thing that will help develop my work capacity? You know, And if it is, then... Get yourself a fucking group of people, get yourself a coach, get your head in some books. Like it's it's it the information you need, the support you need is all out there. Right. And if you're like, I can do it myself, it's like, yeah, that's fine. Why haven't you? Seriously. Or right, how many times have you tried? It's like how many more times are you gonna keep trying? It's like you know, we we're we're tribe animals for a reason. But the difficulty is that if you're not leveraging what's around you and, and, and being resourceful, then you're not just holding yourself back, but you're also holding the whole world back from seeing your potential and, and, and being able to use you as an example and being able to use you for inspiration. Like this is the whole idea, like playing small serves fucking no one, hey. And it's, it's, it's worth remembering that. So yes, go all in your on your go all in on your strengths, one hundred percent. Hey, just make sure that your strengths aren't being held back by what you deem to be airy fairy or fluffy or whatever, because the reality is that there's nothing that holds us back besides ourselves and the way that we view reality. And so maybe it's time to update that software. Hey, hmm, maybe. All right, team, that's it. I'm out. Thank you very much for tuning in today. As always, if you found this podcast beneficial, it would mean the world to me. If you'd pass it on to someone else that you think would also find it beneficial. If you haven't already, jump on Facebook and search Mood Prep Online and join the group in there. Otherwise, team, that's it. I think that's it for today. Um, I'm going to finish it up there. But until tomorrow, peace and pizza, kick today in the dick, slay the dragon. I'll see you soon. Be unblinded, be unlearned, be unbridled and unburned.